I got that yamp card. No, you got my yamp. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, Bobby, you, you can't. Can. Welcome back to It's E Lifestyle. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Erica. My channel is called It's E Lifestyle. And it's all about creating a good lifestyle. Okay, lifestyle lovers, as you can see, I'm in the car. I'm in the car with my daughter. We're actually headed to Sam's. We're going to look at some of their birthday cakes, some of their two tier birthday cakes, because my grandson, King, will be turning one in a few weeks so we're just checking out some birthday cakes just to see what kind of character cakes they have my daughter is planning to do a baby shark first birthday party so we want to see if they have any she did check out another young lady who does cakes it was kind of pricey you know which i know when you start doing the two to three tier character cakes it can get kind of pricey but i advise my daughter it doesn't make sense to pay that much for a cake if it's not good did she offer any tasting where you could taste it i just inquired about the price of the cake i didn't ask oh okay you probably should ask her can you um does she offer tastings so um, I don't know if you guys know, but Sam's has really, really good cakes, better than Publix. So we're gonna check out just to see if they have any baby shark options available. As you guys can see, I ditched the wig and went to the salon and got my hair done. So I got my, oh, I have my cut back. Let me show you the back. New okay. cut, new color. So this is the back. <laughs> You don't want to be on camera? No. Why? She be acting so funny. The lifestyle lovers love you, Nurse I Period. Really love you, but they got to love me in form, okay? Don't you got your little natural. Mom, please get me off Why you got to be acting like that with the lifestyle lovers? Why they got costumes at Halloween already? Oh. They got shock on him, but I don't know if they got baby shock. So they have the two tier cakes are 39 and the three tier cakes are 69. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> We're looking for the um do y'all have baby Oh, shot. they got baby shots. They got baby shots. Are you gonna turn your order today? Yes. For what day? Um for mm -hmm. July 24th. Okay. Near that look almost like the same cake. Pull your inspiration picture up. Let's see, I got a baby shot for my baby king. <laughs> you said the 24th? Yes, ma'am. Oh, they got baby okay. shot. You, well, you need to get the three tier cake for my baby. You just, you just. Yeah, I'll get it. For I, I, can okay. have, I can have a 69. Yeah, one time now. And I'm going to get the cupcake. Um, I'm going to start at three. 11. 11. If, what time because you don't she, she don't have to pick it up at 11 right no no no. yeah let's do it at 11. did you want the tier yes okay. i'm gonna get the three tier and also the cupcakes so let's get the driving me my crazy okay. Okay. thank you for the just to say that we went over everything and you're gonna be okay. getting exactly what you ordered okay i just want to take a picture of it oh okay. You got my baby cake, y'all. <laughs> thank you, awesome. Thank you. Alrighty, guys, we will have that ready, and if you okay. have any questions or anything like that, just give us a call. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, you don't want to look around at nothing? I got that yamp card. No, you got my yamp. <laughs> <laughs> baby, baby, you can't. You can't be fighting with that yamp card. Oh, man, am I getting me off there? <laughs> don't be trying to be slick and put me on. Good. Your hair that I gave you barely enough. <laughs> That's all right. Stop. That's all your hair that your mama gave you. You're right. I told you this person for that month, man. Take me off of that. Right? I'm going to move. Get out of my frame. You don't want to get nothing? I'm going to go ahead and get his. You know, I don't need nothing out of that. You don't want to 
Yeah, I'm in that. Your hundred dollars is spent. <laughs> well spent that day. <laughs> Girl, your $100 is well Well, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give you this Sam's card now then. Okay. That way you can have it. You ain't got to be bothering me because I'm no, not... You, no, you trying to get out. I'm not running spot. around for no birthday to get no cake. Did she get you a total of how much it was? No. Oh, okay. We need to find out the total. Okay. So we got a three-tier cake and then we got 30 Baby Shark cupcakes. I'm going to another one of these. They be having good stuff in here. They have that artichoke cream cheese dip. This way you need to go out, start going grocery shopping. I don't have eh? enough room in my refrigerator. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> okay, lifestyle lover. So I check back in with you when I get back to the house. A few things came in for the the powder room. So I'll check back in with you guys so I can show you that once we get back to the house ma'am okay lifestyle lovers so it's a little bit later on in the day i have made a quick grocery store run i went to walmart i did not vlog just simply because it's not really sanitary to be trying to hold a camera or the phone and pick up groceries and all of that stuff and i hate walmart i, I i'm always trying to get out of walmart as quick as possible but i'm gonna just show you guys what i picked up from the store not much i have the starbucks cinnamon dolce creamer i typically get the white chocolate mocha but i just decide decided to try something different this particular time and i never ever want to run out of creamer so i picked up some creamer i have some vitamin d whole milk mookie still loves whole milk some of you guys have suggested some more healthy alternatives, but he doesn't like those. So right now I'm still buying whole milk. Two pack of Crescent Rolls. This is for Mookie as well. Kool-Aid Jammers, Mookie. Parsley, Laurie's garlic salt. Some jasmine rice. I just got the success boil in the bag just to make life a little bit easier for me. Nutty Buddies for Mookie. Baby cut carrots. I just brought the snack bags that way. I'm going to cook a recipe with these tonight. But I can also take the snack bags to work just for a snack. I have some sleepy time. Extra sleepy time tea. Some Lumina foil. Hidden Valley Classic Ranch Dip. And I also purchased a bag of Ruffles Hot Wings chips. So hot wings with ranch dip is really good. Chicken bobalone packets. They did not have the cubes, so I just went ahead and opted for the packets because I'm also using that in a recipe. Thomas bagel thins. This is my first time trying these, but if you guys know I am not a big breakfast person, I like a light breakfast. So I'm gonna try these. And I also picked up some Philadelphia cream cheese to um, spread on the bagels. And they are so, also are 110 calories. And then I just picked up one potato that I'm, that I'm going to use in my recipe tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and put the groceries up. I want to share some things with you that came in today from Amazon for the powder room. And so yeah, so I'll check back in in a little bit. Okay, lifestyle lovers, I wanted to go ahead and show you my outfit just in case you were interested in what I what I was wearing today. It is a one-piece jumpsuit that I purchased from Fashion Nova a while back. If I can find it on their website, I will link it in the description box. But I'm going to just stand back so you guys can see. Let me bring you a little closer. Closer. It is a one-piece jumpsuit. That kind of falls off the shoulder it has a belt that ties in the back the bottom of it is pretty much like um, stretch pants so it's kind of tight around the bottom and then it's really loose fitting at the top and I just paired it with these Doshe and Gabbana Sorrento sneakers they're like sock sneakers I showed these shoes on another vlog. So these sneakers, Lifestyle Lovers, actually are my son's sneakers. 
and he grew out of them. He got these for his birthday last year when he turned 12. So now a year later, his feet is like a size bigger, but I can wear them. So these are actually his old shoes. But anyways, I have a pair of my, of my own, but these are my son's old sneakers. So I just pretty much paired this outfit with my MCM wallet on the chain because it is red also. So this is pretty much was my look for today. Nice, cute, and comfy, although it is really, really hot outside. We had a tropical storm come through Jacksonville yesterday. Um, just a whole, whole lot of rain. It pretty much rained from the morning until the night. And we've been getting a lot of rain anyway, but that has not changed the temperature because it's been really, really hot. So... Yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day. So just to show you the items that came in for the bathroom today. This is a toilet paper holder in the matte black. And I actually, this is by the brand Kess, which is the same brand that I used to purchase the faucet in the bathroom. So it mounts this way. My intentions was to use gold accents like for the toilet paper holder and for the towel bar. But I'm going to tell you what changed my mind. I was recently watching a like bathroom makeover or bathroom reveal on YouTube this week. And the bathroom was absolutely gorgeous. It was like a bathroom transformation but she used all gold fixtures. She had like gold faucet, gold towel bar, gold toilet paper holder, gold, it was just gold everything. All of the hardware was gold and it was a little overwhelming to me. Although the bathroom was absolutely gorgeous, when you're using gold, you kind of have to be careful because it can start to look kind of gaudy. I think that's the word and it can be overwhelming. So that's what made me change my mind because I actually had the gold hardware in my basket in my cart for Amazon and then I switched to the matte black. So I also purchased some more of the screwless wall plates that I'm going to be using in the bathroom. These are made by the company Eaton and I purchased a towel bar, just a single towel bar. I opted to do the square shape instead of the round shape. <clears throat> Initially I had the, the circle towel bar in my cart and then I switched it out to the square. So this is also made by the brand Cast. And I also purchased some battery operated strip lights that I am going to strip on the back of the mirror just so it gives like the uh illusion that the mirror is is illuminating and they are battery operated i purchased three of them and they came along with the batteries so i am going to strip them like in a circle because the mirror is a circle so i'm going to strip them on the mirror in a circle of motion um, but I will show you guys once I do it so yes yeah, so I purchased three of them I don't know if I'm gonna use all three and that's pretty much it I do have something else that's arriving Saturday which is kind of like a uh, it's like a tray that will hold the soap and and all of that stuff and that comes on Saturday and I think that's it I think that's all that I need. I do need to finish the touch up paint, which I do plan to do that this week. So the reveal for the powder room is coming soon, but I just wanted to share these items that I purchased for the powder room. If you are interested in any of these items, I will make sure that I link them in the description box. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with dinner because I did not eat lunch and I ate a very, very light breakfast and I'm really hungry. Yesterday, I went to a local fish market and purchased some fresh fish. I wanted some speckled trout. That's my favorite fresh fish, but they did not have any due to the rain and the weather, but they did have croaker. 
So I fried some croaker yesterday, but today I think I'm going to bake it. I want to be a little bit healthier today. And I found a recipe online. So I'm going to go ahead and start on dinner because I'm hungry. And then I'll check back in with you guys later. <laughs> lifestyle lovers happy saturday so today is saturday last night my son had his basketball game which leaves my saturday free to do whatever i choose so i pretty much started off my saturday morning getting the powder room ready adding the finishing touches so i am starting by adding these led battery operated lights that i purchased from amazon i will link them in the description box if you are interested and i'm just going to place them around this circle mirror that i purchased from home goods in a circular motion just to give an illusion that the mirror is illuminating. <music> Okay, so this also arrived today for the powder room. It is made by the same brand cast, which I've been using for the rest of the hardware in the bathroom. It is a matte black and glass shelf, and I'm just going to go ahead and unbox it and put it together, and I'll show you guys the finished look. Make me bite the pavement. A little conversation. 
So this is how it will actually look up against the wall and I plan to place some soap, some lotions on the glass shelf. Okay, lifestyle lovers, so I have the shelf all put together and mounted against the wall. I do have some Joe Malone soap arriving today. So once it arrives, I'm going to place it on the shelf just to make sure the shelf is not too high or not too low and it's easy accessible when my guests need to wash their hands. I won't be able to show you the mirror illuminating until later on when the sun goes down because it's, it is pretty bright outside and you can't really tell with the sun shining through the window but once the soap arrives and the sun goes down i'll show you guys what i pretty much completed today okay lifestyle lovers so now that the sun has went down you can see the mirror illumination a little bit better one thing i did not think about is Every time I want it to illuminate, I would have to take the mirror down. So I may have to go back to Amazon to see are there some remote control um, options by the seller. So this is how the chef is looking and the Jo Malone soap fits perfectly, perfectly on the shelf. I think I may add a bottle of lotion and possibly um, a candle. I'm not sure. And this is how the towel bar is looking. I mounted that today as well as the tissue bar. So here is just a little sneak peek at the powder room. I know it looks finished, but it's actually not. I need to go in and do some paint retouches. But once that is done, then I will do the powder room reveal. But that is pretty much it for this vlog. Lifestyle lovers, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you comment below. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.